Hi, I'm Matt Stagg, I work for EE and I'm responsible for our video and content technologies across the board. I mean, I was really pleased that we, um, we ended up with a dedicated uh, LT broadcast stream and it shows how much the industry has, has brought the technology on. Um, in terms of the event itself, it's been very supportive of the mobile industry and it really shows that we're moving into um, you know, a lot more content on the go, people doing a lot more. Um, I think three years ago I, I first uh, presented, had a slot here and I was the only mobile operator. Um, then you move, last year we had a video over LTE stream looking at the whole thing. Lots of uh, debate about LTE broadcast and as we, as we know now we have a dedicated stream there. It was packed and um, in terms of the, the general feel as a technology is now really is not a matter of if it's deployed but just when. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, originally, it's, um, it was looked at as being um, a, a cost saving and, and ex not a cost saving exercise, so efficient use of spectrum um, and guaranteed quality of experience, which actually on its own is a good business case and, and something that, that would drive a business case to roll out. As we started to look at it and, and started to have more ideas, it was actually, well, this technology is different to anything else because as well as you've got the traditional content efficiently get into the, the, on the broadcast side of things and you can do multi-screen and all of that stuff that people have talked about. The other thing is you've got the unicast channel which you don't have in other media you know it's a, a, a you know a super advanced red button if you like um, uh, for, uh, so let's make it better than TV and we sort of quoted better than TV more just to say okay well you can have all of this stuff, you can have with sports interaction, social media interaction, fan base commentary, competitions, voting, live stats. So um, we really feel that as well as a platform for innovation, it's, um, it is going to be a, a game changer in terms of experience. Um, it's got a long way to go still, I think. There's, there's a couple of... Um, it, it's, Fundamentally, the idea is sound. If your content is on your phone, it's the best experience you can have. You know, it doesn't matter about coverage, doesn't matter about speeds. Um, it can be, you know, if you want a high definition, it's there, you know it's gonna work, you can go in a tunnel, you can go on the tube. So the idea is sound, and it's well understood that that's a, yeah. the, the problem comes in not just in the implementation and, and the, some of the barriers to the, techn not the technology, the experience. Um, are not really um, technical. So it's content, it's you know, the content of rights, um, all of the things go around the DRM. And whilst there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, storage on phones, it's not infinite. So the ideal and the scenario we see is we should be able to, in the future, get everything that somebody wanted before they knew they wanted it on the phone. Because we can, we know enough. And, you know, as an industry, we, we've got we can move into the big data side of things and in the, in the compute. So you should wake up and have everything. We're not going to be there for a while, um, and also, you know, it needs to be done in conjunction with the, the rights holders and things. But we do see a lot of um, what we call side loading, where um, on SkyGo Extra and um, and BBC iPlayer, uh, you can download content over Wi-Fi stored on your phone and we see um, that as being you know a great experience so you know we're all about making sure the customer has a great experience but streaming for us is um, is at the heart of our DNA and our network is, is by far um, you know the, the one that can support those high streaming rates. You know, it, it's changed dramatically in the three years I've been here. Looking forward to um, all of the new innovation, all of the new um, devices and things we're seeing. Um, and there's a real convergence happening around multi-screen. Um, and I think we're just going to, um, there, there'll be a blur. You won't have a set-top manufacturer's stand with just that technology. It'll be multi-screen and you'll see a lot more. I think you'll start to see a lot more content providers here showing off what they're doing with the technology um, and you know we're on a um, it's called 
new TV, they're saying, but it's not new TV. It's going to be, you know, it's the TV of the future. Um, uh, IP TV delivery in all of its formats will be the um, technology that, that sees out um, the long term for TV.